Current situation, a little messy. I need this day to be a reset day between being on holiday and between, you know, starting again with my routine. So the first thing that I need to do is, of course, put everything away. It's not going to take long. I changed my bed sheets already, so... My bed is fresh and clean. And then I'm gonna cook something and I need to do some laundry and vacuum. This apartment has been, for the last few days, in the hands, or should I say paws, of the queen of this apartment, which is my cat, obviously. Well, this apartment needs a very good clean. Uh, obviously, there was someone taking care of her whilst I was away, but, um, they were coming here just to check on her and they didn't stay here. I am so hungry. Because on Sunday, supermarkets are all closed, I knew that I needed to have something ready to eat so I wouldn't starve myself and I wouldn't have to take to order takeout. So I'm using these frozen vegetables. I got these for free at Lidl. I had a coupon and I had these for free. And I also have ready, which I think it can be interesting today, these chickpea pasta. And this was reduced, this was on sale. I think because, I don't know, they're clearing the stock of probably close, ex no, it's not close expiration. It's a probably was unsold stock that they wanted to get rid of. So this is what I'm having today. And I like thinking in this way. So I'm always prepared and keeping things that will keep my belly satisfied um, and will nourish me. And they're easy to prepare are for me, just a no brainer. And tomorrow, that it's Monday and everything, it's open again, I can go grocery shop. This is not for you. You already had yours. So much stuff to wash all of a sudden. Thank you. 
The potatoes are really good. The tofu, however, well, it's also good. Very juicy. But definitely could use more flavor. So I might do this again. But I need to figure out a way to give it more flavor in the oven while it bakes. Came back from the grocery store. I guess I can show you what I got. I needed to stock up on groceries, uh, considering that I was away, so I didn't have, am I on focus? A lot of fresh ingredients on hand. And I thought I can make a little impromptu grocery haul. Uh, first things first, because I had it right here. Um, I bought a vegetable mix for veggie broth. Um, the, I started doing a few weeks ago, I started doing this thing where I prepare myself a huge pot, like four or five layers of vegetable broth. I like to drink it. It's very plain. I just had the tiniest bit of salt, but I leave it plain and unsalted. And I really like to drink um, a few cups of broth every day. I think it's very good to stay hydrated, get all those nutrients and vitamins. And, you know, um, I really, I, I've always loved to drink uh, veggie broth, even when I was a kid and my grandma used to prepare it. It's a nice, you know, comfort thing. And with the vegetables that I use for the broth, I usually um, mash them up like with my, um, uh, immersion blender and I make some sort of a cream out of them because I think it's a pity to throw them away um, so I get double use out of the same vegetables obviously they need to be flavored a lot uh, with spices salt and what whatnot but I can turn them into a creamy soup or some sort of a bread spread speaking of bread you know I have to get my loaf of discounted bread because it's about to expire this is a vegan uh, protein bread seemed really interesting they had vegan bologna in two different options um, so I thought I could try this out this is from Vimondo which is Lidl's vegan brand to go with bologna I also got a very expensive but also really delicious um, sliced cheese. I thought I could make sandwiches out of those. Spring onions, because you know me, I always buy them. Then I have white mushrooms. Pickles. I had a coupon for these. Uh, this whole jar was just 90 cents. I have some marmalade, orange. red bell pepper hummus which is actually quite delicious bananas these were on sale too oats zucchini these were also on sale tomatoes these were also on sale my usual vegan unsweetened soy yogurt and sweet corn
think that I have completely underestimated this organizing project. I think it was going to be much easier and faster. The problem that I had with this space right here, as you can see, it's um, an area where I normally store all the things that I need to keep for my household, but they aren't exactly super pretty to look at because we all have those items like, I don't know, um, vacuum cleaner or extra cat food or that kind of stuff. The problem that I had with this, even if I like the shelf unit itself, because it's space saving, it looks nice. I brought it from the previous apartment, so I didn't have to buy extra furniture for this corner. I was determined to make it work. And I think it does work. But the main problem that I had with this is that everything was exposed. So even if I had the best like even with my best intentions to keep it organized, it would always look cluttered to me whenever I moved the curtain because everything was exposed. So I was on the market for um, organizational boxes that would help me to keep things more organized and aesthetically pleasing. I found it very difficult to find uh, organization boxes that would fit in here. And the only ones that I could find that I thought would fit perfectly in there were these wooden crates that I bought at Ikea. I actually have two or three more in my studio already. I really like them because I think they look nice and they're also functional. The problem is I can't fit them properly in there and it turns out that they make me waste space rather than save space because they don't fit the way I thought they would fit in there. So I think I even have taken the measurements wrong. I have no idea. Also in the attempt to organize things and try various settings, I even end up ended up uh, scratching one of the shelves with one of the screws here at the bottom because I didn't put any felt adhesive things here. So um, the first few minutes were really frustrating. Let me tell you that. They were really frustrating. I was this close to, I don't know, throw everything on the floor or trash can and call it a day. But um, sometimes not every organizational project works 100% on our very first try. Sometimes we need to fail to kind of like realize what works better, what we can improve, what we did wrong.
Well, hello vlog. Um, it's good to see you. I kind of feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. I just came back from work, I think about half an hour ago. And uh, it took a, I walked from my workplace to my house. Um, it's a lovely sunny day, so I wouldn't, I didn't want to pass up on the opportunity. Even though I'm not feeling my greatest, my period is kind of killing me. And I guess I had like plans to do stuff this week, but sometimes you just gotta accept when your levels of energy are not to 100% or even 90% or 80% that things are eventually not gonna go as you planned or as you wanted them to go. Um, and it's important to recognize these signs. So I used to feel extremely frustrated and to uh, make myself guilty if I wouldn't keep up with my plans. But I just kind of like accepted that it is what it is. And if my body's sending me signs that I need to stop or slow down or I'm just feeling lazy, I just need to embrace that and I'll just have better days in which I feel better in general to handle stuff. Um, and that's okay. I had plans to reorganize my bookshelf today. But honestly, I do not think that today is going to be one of those days in which I take everything out from storage and I have chaos on my floor for two hours and then I'll just have to clean and put everything back where it belongs. So I just rather lay and stay calm and maybe eventually cook a few vegetables for tomorrow's lunch rather than just start to rush into an organizing project that I know won't probably be brought to its end because I have plans later. So um, sometimes it's important to accept that. Not all the plans go as we want them to go. We need to adjust according to how we feel, to what our days look like. <laughs> 